I thought it could be like, you know, those parasailing where you can have somebody can, with you. Yeah. I only can accompany during the starting point and ending point, but in the middle way, you have to be yourself. Oh my God. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, you know, so it's very good for the adventure, adventurous people, yeah. Yeah, and also we during the MCO, we also create a lot of uh, hiking trail mm. for people come to Lang Tenga. Not on, not only go for the snorkeling uh, or underwater, scuba diving. also mm -hmm. can go for the hiking. Okay, so these yeah. are all the new activities. So during during MCO, you were closed, I'm sure, for how yeah, long? You, uh, 2020, we closed on the uh, 18 March until we reopened. Uh, uh, it's around 10 of June. Okay. Wow, so it's a long time. MCO, the three months time, what we done? We done the new hiking train, mm -hmm. the no real flutter activity. And also, we try to create a new diving spot for the, our customer. And also, at the same time, we also done with a uh, with a PPTD mm -hmm. with a first aircraft Malaysia put under the water. Wow! Two airplanes, yeah. There's a lot of new things there. You know, congratulations, you know, for all these new initiatives and uh, new discovery that you are giving to your to your guests. And I'm sure a lot and, more people would love to, you know, visit your island because, well, like I myself have not been, uh, <laughs> you know, but looking at the photos and hearing what my friends have, have actually shared with me is an island that you really would love to, you know, if you like private islands, if you like yeah. privacy, private islands, this is a place that she said, Jen, you have to go. So for sure, yeah. <laughs> for sure that I'll come visit. So because you the last year, uh -huh. I mean, we can say that we have break our the, the 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 history record because our sales is increased ten percent before the MCO. Amazing, yeah. amazing, yeah. So how big is your team now over at the resort? I mean, during the MC. Before the MCO, it's uh, around 109 people staff. Wow. But after, during the MCO, we, a lot of people resign and some more people don't want to come in back. So we only left 50 people on the resort. But last now, year, mm -hmm. really, we still can hire a bit the, the extra staff to join us. So probably now it's around 70 plus. Oh, that's a good size, right? Yes. And how many how many rooms do you have? Tell us more about the resort. How many rooms? Uh, yeah. do, they, do you have villas? And what is what is the construction of all these uh, different yeah. different room types? Our summer base resort is actually is not so big. The land size is only one point eight acre. So we have a okay. hundred eleven room. Right. So we have a four restaurant on the resort. So that's including, huge. including the bar, the Western buffet style. And also, mm -hmm. we have uh, the local mama there. And also, we have uh, something like a civil cafe. Let people choose, uh, chill at the beach side there for nice. having coffee or the wine. Nice. So, our resort, the room type is mostly like the, can say that the hotel room style. Okay. Because we are due to our uh, land is not so big. That's why mm -hmm. we cannot build the villa. But mm -hmm. in the another four more years, our beside our land, we have another seven acre to go in to build another five star resort on the Lang Island. Wow. Okay. So, yes. So, but currently our summer bay, we are re we are taking the six sixteen room to River Beach to become the more premium class. I mean, uh, fulfill all those people class one would like to enjoy the most uh premium room. Mm. So we try to create the one room probably around eight hundred square feet. That's so that size. for only yeah, I mean, I mean for those people who are really who like to enjoy the nice room, nice view, and yeah. also the nice activity, mm. so this one probably was be for, suitable for them. Right, and when does that start? When would that be available? Uh, probably will available on the April. Oh, that's us. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and let's talk about timing. When, it, because there is there is monsoon period, uh, when is the best time to visit Lang Tenga? Best time for us is uh, during the March to October. Yeah, mm. but we starting on the November, uh, the the February, sorry, the February, because mm. we have to get ready for all those stuff coming back to get ready for those things settle down. Mm. So welcoming you guys. Nice, nice. Okay, so March to October is the best time yeah. to visit you. Okay, that, that's great. All right, so what can your guests expect? What can they experience at Lang Tenga at your Summer Bay Resort in 2023? What's new? What's coming? Okay, 
uh, we try to create another the how to say that the new modern style service means that from the guests come to our jetty, mm -hmm. we are picking them the all the luggage direct sent to the room. So direct once they come to our island, we will guide them to the for the uh, how to say that the uh, the personnel. The, I mean to give them the personalized briefing. service and all. Yes. Yes, okay. It's more personalized. So after that, we'll bring them to the room to explain everything, whatever we have in the room. So okay. after that, we will also bring them to the, our restaurant. So try to give them like the more choices. Let's say if you come to Lang Teng Island, not mm. only you can go for buffet, you can also go for the Western style or a la carte, the mm. menu. So let them have more variety choice. So mm. after that, we also bring them to, let's say, the feeling for the, our activity. Most of people come to Lang Tenga sure have to go for the turtle snorkeling. Oh. So that's what this one it will be one of the best activity we will recommend to our staff, mm -hmm. our guests. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So after that, at the night time, we will bring them to see our boot, uh, the, the Busan, uh, Busan walk. Right. So let them have a different kind of a scenario of the island. Mm -hmm. So let them have a see the night, night style scene. view. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So during the April to the August time, the, this period, this four month period, we will get them know what we done for the turtle conservation because mm -hmm. during that time is a uh, the, is a turtle laying egg yes. period. Right. Yeah. So that's why I uh, teach them how about the turtle this kind of thing, the introduction. Uh. So April. Yeah. So those who, those who wants to actually experience the turtle discovery, turtle education should come only April onwards. The April, yes. Until which and month? Until August. Okay, so April to August. Okay, yes. now 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 I can fly my time a bit more. <laughs> I say okay, no, April is a good month. Before the June, before the June or after the August, mm. we also do something for the our ocean because we have the uh, let all our guests try to explain and try to edu educate them regarding the coral planting. Yeah. Why should we? Have that uh, our earth then why should we have to uh, protect our ocean uh, mm. this kind of thing let them have uh, something knowledge so try to protect each other yeah wow there's a lot of activities hearing what you're saying you know that that um yeah. such a small private island but you know there's so many activities that uh, your guests can enjoy yeah and because, experience. Uh, because our island can say that it's not the commercial island we don't mm. have a lot of restaurant on the island don't mm. have a lot of the, the, I mean the activity shop on the island. Mm. So we would like to create some uh, more thing in our resort. Let people come to our nice. resort and enjoy their food, their activity, or their relaxing view, whatever. So that because every customer have their own uh, style. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. Do you have so do you do you have a spa there? Yes, we have a spa. You have but a spa. This spa probably will operate on the April. Also from April onwards. Yes. So yes. it looks like, you know, the best time to go is April. <laughs> April <laughs> onwards, you know, anytime April to August where you have um, the spa opening already, beautiful no. weather, and uh, of course with the turtle discovery. And what else yes. is, what else, what else you were saying, John, that, they, that, that there's a new one, which is what, the cliff climbing one? The whale flutter. Whale flutter is uh, something the cliff climbing. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's so new. Oh yeah, doesn't mean only only for the the the, 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 the within the that period. Only. Okay, all right. And then of course you still have your scuba diving, uh, you still have the snorkeling. Those are all the activities that has been going on for for a while, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Okay, that's fantastic. So, what can your what kind of experience can can we expect uh, from you in twenty twenty three? What's what's going to be different? How is the guest experience going to be different from before COVID? Hmm, this one is a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think on the because on the 2023rd, we last year actually we have uh, tried our new style, the service style. Mm. We try to once the customer before they are checking our result, we try to create the WhatsApp group. Mm. Okay. The WhatsApp group to let them know regarding our uh, before they are checking, where is uh, uh, where is the jetty location? Where mm. is their uh, what? What should what should they bring? The mm. those uh, uh etc. Because why? Mm. A lot of people come 
before they are checking in the no matter in the Rodang or Pendang or Lang Tengah, they have a, a lot of question mark, a lot of mm. question. So we yeah. great for this WhatsApp group to try to solve their problem first, the first mm. thing. So the mm. second thing is once they are come to our island, mm. because a lot of people still scared about like the go to the reception because there might be a lot of people there. Yeah. So there are people who are using the WhatsApp to order something like the activity, to request something like the, the room service or mm. this kind of thing. So everything can done in the WhatsApp group. So the okay. third thing, once the customer uh leaving to the leaving leaving the leaving the island, yeah. so we are sending the like the greeting message to them like let's say hope you guys enjoy again this kind of thing so on and so on so mm. let them feel like very warming like uh, mm. your home away from home like that the feeling nice. so this is a thing this is a thing we try to enhance our service to the, all the customer nice. so sure because on the 2023rd we have mm. done a lot of uh, room furnishing oh. and also because okay. our result is almost 10 years already so mm. every five years we have to do something refurbishment. Yeah. So mm. that's why let customer feel like uh, the new thing in our mm. uh, our resort. Mm. So yeah. it's the second thing. The third thing, share what I say, the activity. Mm. The real fact that we already done already. That coming soon, we probably will be done on the, I think probably end of March. Then we are done the, for the flying fox. Oh, you got for flying fox as well. Oh. Flying fox. Ah, okay. This one probably can say is a I think it's a first in the activity in Malaysia Island. You can say that. Uh, how far <laughs> so is it? How long would be the 250 meter? Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's long. 250 the would be 50 meter. And height, yeah. height height is 50 meters. Yes. 50. Probably, That's uh, about 50 what? 150 is about 150 feet. 12 to 13 feet. Yeah. 12 to 13 floor. Yes. Wow. From the head, you, you have sure you have to uh, hiking to the first station, our rest station. Okay. From that side, then flying falls to the, our resort, the, near, nearby the beach side there. So you can see the whole island scenery. Wow. Yeah, oh, that sounds good. amazing. That yes. sounds amazing. Is it going to be, are we going to be accompanied by your team or we have to do it ourselves one by one? Yourself. One by one. <laughs> I thought it could be like, you know, those parasailing where you can have somebody can, with you. Yeah. I only can accompany during the starting point and ending point, but in the middle way, you have to be yourself. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I want to think about it. <laughs> yeah. No worry. It's very safe. It's very safe. Very safe. Very safe. Yes. And okay. And how fast is the traveling? How many, how, what, what's the speed like? Hey, actually, actually, only the 15 seconds eh, maximum. Oh, that's all? Yes, that's 15 all. seconds you reach. Oh, that's quick. What, but John, the fact that you say it's only 15 seconds, that means it's quite fast, huh? Actually, we are not going to do fast because why? 15 seconds, you, right now we are talking that the second is very fast. Yes. But once you're doing that, you feel very slow. How come the so slow haven't arrived the best <laughs> point? Yeah? Okay. You say, uh, when yeah. I go up and it goes very fast, I'm going to come after you. <laughs> Don't worry. If you feel really scared, you let me know. I let you hold my hand. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, you take me down, uh, 15 seconds. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Very interesting. Thank you so much, John, for sharing with us, you know, um, what we can expect. I mean, I, I just by hearing it, I'm already seeing it. I'm seeing it in my mind, you know, the beautiful places yeah. and the adventurous um, activities and, you know, the privacy of the, of the island. I think these are very, very amazing discovery and discovering product of Malaysia for tourism, uh, you know, definitely, John. I look forward to seeing you. Yeah, uh, sure, sure. In April, somewhere April, May, <laughs> definitely <laughs> find a time. Yeah, and uh, and of course we do look forward to having you here uh, at our gala dinner on the twentieth yeah, yeah. of March. Yeah, to see you there, yeah. and you bring the island to us. <laughs> <laughs> I bring the feel for you. Yes, bring the feel for us. <laughs> okay, thank you so okay. much, John. Thank you very much for being here on Hapa TV Studio. That was John Chong, General Manager of Summer Bay Lang Tenga Island Resort, sharing with us all the amazing story and adventures that you can find over at Lang Tenga Island Resort.
Thank you very much. Uh, and see you again at you. our future episodes on HAPA TV. See you then.